Good morning! All right, so yesterday I posted pictures and video for pre-workout and a prayer and toast over ho-hos because I haven't been doing that for a while and it's something I really enjoy. And some of the comments were, your hair looks great, your skin looks great, and your teeth are so white. So I wanted to share with you what I've been doing for the last, well, God knows how long, for my hair, skin, and my teeth. I also have really long nails, and I, if you want, I'll tell you about those in another video. Just comment below. First things first, hair. All it is, is olive oil. I massage this into my scalp every day, run through my hair, let it sit, so it gets all nice and absorbed. You don't need to use a lot. You can also, let me show you this. If you, if you want, I'll, I'll actually use my Bora Bristle brush and brush it through to make sure everything is coated, but you wanna be gentle with that because you don't wanna break your hair. Let that sit for an hour, co-wash. Now I use VO5 because it's cheap. Uh, it works, it actually is pretty darn cleansing and it has a little bit of uh, soy milk protein in there, so I think that helps keep my hair strong. Not sure if it really does, but that's what I'm deluded into thinking because of the back of the panel. But it's only like 79 cents, and so you can use a lot, put it in your hair, and really do a good co-wash. Um, if you want me to explain what a co-wash is, comment below. Next, skin. Soap with simple ingredients. This has olive oil and coconut oil and shea butter in it. And then the fragrance. Um, that's it. It's moisturizing, it's cleansing, and then once, maybe twice a week, I take a little bit of baking soda and add that to my palm and just gently exfoliate. Rinse that all off with some warm water. And I was using grapeseed oil, which works great, but now I'm using avocado oil. I bought this to make mayonnaise, wasn't thrilled with the taste, so I went back to using my olive oil mayonnaise, but anyway avocado oil. It is really good for my skin and it also absorbs pretty quickly and I like it. It's working great. Now we were talking about, oh, another moisturizing oil I use. I've been putting castor oil on my eyelashes because it's like a growth serum and I've heard good things. So I put that on my eyelashes at night and then I put a little bit on any trouble areas where there might be wrinkles forming. So forehead here, this, you know, don't know if it's going to work or not, but I figure in 10 years it might work. It might not work. We're going to see. Then toothpaste, how I've been keeping my teeth white and healthy. I make my own toothpaste. This is a recipe from Wellness Mama. It's a remineralizing toothpaste. The ingredients are coconut oil, xylitol, calcium carbonate, and baking soda and then you can add whatever flavors you want. Uh, I use peppermint essential oil to make it minty. I've used vanilla and orange extract to make it an orange creamsicle taste. But what's great is the calcium carbonate is supposed to remineralize your teeth. Baking soda is a gentle abrasive so it gets your teeth clean. And then the xylitol is good for your teeth. It helps prevent the bacteria and it sweetens it and it's supposed to help keep your mouth moist as well, I believe. And then coconut oil fixes everything, right? So that is my routine right now, every day. And that's what's been really keeping my skin, my hair, and my teeth healthy. And so I, I thought I would share that with you. If you wanna hear about my nail routine, just comment below and I'll make another video for you. So long hair soon, don't care. Talk to you later.